we see the rotations. Actually, maybe that's what it's for. That ward will, ca will scout out if Spirit Breaker is moving from lane to lane. Especially mid to top or top to mid. Ah, uh, bomb though. Resolution, the shards are there. They've killed him. First blood. First blood. 30 seconds to battle. Um, yeah. He's level 2 as like, well. Like, what made that a kill, or should have been a kill before from Nuts, was the fact that Resolution was just so far out from his tower. And now you'll see Rune Control. Nuts comes to protect the bottom rune. It's actually going on top. Yeah, Admiral Bulldog's being initiated on. And he'll actually go down here. Downside about Lone Druid. Gets slowed down so heavily from the Winter Wyvern. Looks like he got hit by the Splinter Blast as well. S4 can just harass Yoku down. He's only got one point up for the Dragon Blood and two points up for the, in the Breathe Fire. This is when Nuts needs another creep to die. Like, Yoku's got to overstay his welcome a little bit more, and then S4's got to blink as well as scream, and that's exactly what they use. The shards as well being thrown out. A very sim simple attack. Yeah, good rotations across. And yeah, just look at resolution. It has been a long old time since we've seen something like this happen, where we used to see Dark Sears, you know, go back into the jungle because off lanes used to be more difficult. Yo Yoku are mid. Yeah, he's, he's dead. He's in a world of hurt right now. Yeah, with the scream and the attack, the Shadow Strike won't do enough damage. Nuts got to punch him once because the bottle charges were still there. Now find the kill and Nuts. Oh, no. He needs to. No, he's dead. The attack from the tower will do the work, so DK at least gets something back, but. Like, what are you really getting out of this? The DK gets no experience. He still lost 119 gold. S4 is being charged, so there is a chance for Aloha Dance to find himself a pickup. S4, with that blink, gets back in range of the tier 1 tower. Aloha Dance wants to commit for this. And now he's in too deep. The Tusker will arrive. He can just shard block up Aloha Dance. The bottle charges are there for S4 as well. Nuz provides that. You said it yourself that he can come in with a bottle. He actually brought S4s instead. Fully regen back up. And then they attack into couriers like that. So uh, it's a bit of a, of a problem, Matt, problem. Aloha Dance and Silent, they're really diving in deep. But Admiral Bulldog, he's almost back to his tier 2 tower. Aloha Dance going in so deep. RK will TP in to help out. But this is a lot of time wasted. Like the DK dies in the middle lane. You're 4 0 1 on this Queen of Pain right now. Oh, this is, this is not the dream, man. But this, this is. Well, it is a dream if you're an Alliance fan. The Aloha Dance is in so much world of hurt as well. That's like S4's this. got the Shadow Strike again. Not even just Snowball. It's Snowball and Shard. So Aloha Dance, he wants to Perfect. charge away. And the second he was about to do that, you could see the animation start. They find the kill. Silence should be able to survive on top. He's going to be called Embrace and having the healing ward down too. He did it twice as well. He started the animation cancel, trying to bait the Snowball. Opposed to Vac. Yeah. This means they've only got themselves one stun. <laughs> I've um, got bashes. Oh yeah, they got a low hard dance down Charge. here already. Um, okay, well he just used his bash, and now the moving forward. Load up. Well, they charge through, and they're going over towards RK, but load up. The Sonic Wave hits from S4, hitting so big, the Snowball in as well. They've caught out two. They're going to look for the three. Nuts is all over Empire right now in the bottom lane. Beard's going to go down. A triple kill coming in for Nuts. And they mopped up the side. Empire lose four heroes. They forced the fight we said was suicide, and funnily enough, it was suicide. Oh, yeah, that's true, because it's item dependent, Radiant's not hero dependent. Mm -hmm. is under attack. Oh, sorry. Uh, hero dependent, so hero not, dependent not item dependent. Yeah. Other way around. Yeah. Other way around. <laughs> I'd agree with you on that one. Um, Wyvern? Oh, Nuts is here, and S4 going to kill Secure with the Scream. Now, this is the point where Empire do not want to engage. They have the Observer Wards, they have Vision, but S4 still has a level 1 Sonic Wave available, and they're chasing. Yoku triggering Dragon Form for this as well. The Snowball comes up, and Resolution was on the other side. I think he must have been hoping to pincer uh, Alliance in, but Alliance just take kill after kill. Okay. The charge is coming on Arca. He can't get the Shallow Grave down. The cooldown will connect on Aloha Dance, and that's four. That's a two-man Sonic Wave kicking up right there. Aloha Dance will be hit. The Omni Slash will happen, but Nuts, he can't Snowball. He has one second off the cooldown. S4, Yule separating defensively up and towards the end. Finds him some time with a triple kill for Silent. He's just found the strength when it counts, giving him a 3 for 4 tray off Admiral Bulldog. This time he comes in to help out his teammates. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Actually, it ends up being a 3 for 3 trade. Go into SMR, just go to full stats build. The worry is that Darkseer... Oh, I guess he's nearly finished his max, so he's not even that screwed over. Top tower Aloha. Roshan. Uh, uh, he's dying to earn. He's dying to earn. Oh, very close. He had enough damage to kill him off. Now Dragon Knight's in trouble with the Shadow Strike, the bear. There he finally will get the entangle. Took him a while, but uh, now Yoku. The Dazzle Poison Touch. Oh, Loda. No, that's, that's naughty. That's not naughty. No fear just stands there's like, yeah, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> that's nice, man. That's not naughty. That's nice.
like is making me question that. Also, the fact that he hasn't spent his money when he's got twenty three hundred gold. You could like, have it finished. That's that's yeah. He he should have actually finished the S and Y by now. Yoku. Oh no, the bling. Oh, too early. The observer ward was down, so we saw Yoku coming in. In fact, they're going to re-engage the snowball in. It's just nuts running in. The Weevil connect on three, and Empire don't want to stick around here for too long. The Wyvern goes up on the hill, but the cooldown resolution runs away. Yoku, he's still in the neighborhood, but there's no sentry walls. There's no detections. The Glimmer came to protect him, but Loda ends up finding him. Aloha Dance will charge himself in as well, but this is Empire caught on the wrong side of the river. They might have got the kill on the task already, but S4, Nether Strike, the Yule Scepter's up. No way to finish that one, but the DK, because the Yule Scepter was used, he can TP himself away to safety. Also, because he was out of vision Radiant's of the Alliance. So, both Curse as well as Dragon Form should be up around the same time. But you are right, like, if they get caught out here. Like, Alliance also smoked themselves up. Nuts gonna break it, actually stealing. He bottles the double damage room, buys time with the snowball, and now Yoku's too far away. They let the call down go, although they're trying to keep up. Nuts, the Shadow Graves are back into a four-man wall. That'll do some serious work, but not really enough. The flag cannon from Loda, the Omni side isolated. The curse will lock him down too. Loda will drop, and Empire on the charge. S4 still needs a good time. The Yule Scepter will buy in time to blink away, but he had no Sonic Wave in this fight. So Alliance also with ulties down. The bear will be a casualty of war. It's running away. Three seconds until it can actually come back. No, it will live. That's actually quite big for Lone Druid. Keeping it off cooldown, he can bring it back over and scout for Roshan, which is Empire's next task. The ulties come off cooldown at like a perfect time, uh, honestly. Yoku, no ma'am. They're also freaking tanky. There, there's Sonic Wave available. That's the dominated creep coming in from Loda. So it'll come in to scout out Roshan. Sees the fact, obviously, they are committing to it. And you've got two bears. Actually, he resummoned. He resummoned his bear before this fight began. The charge come in. The Sonic Wave silent. Luckily, not to get hit by that one. He tried to protect himself with spin, but obviously, it's fewer damage. And the Yule Scepter. It catches out Aloha Dance. Yep, Silent can't finish the job. Yoku's running away as well. So Roshan's away, they have to TP out, and Alliance will actually regather Roshan. Oh man. So now the mid lane gets forced out, Abra Bulldog's not even putting himself at risk. The Aghanim Scepter is done over on the Queen of Pain, and they found a target. They snowball in, there goes your sentry ward, Yoku, they send him up as well as Entangle, with a cooldown, it's a good back into a wall, and there's your curse combination! Loaded dies almost instantly, but it's the Aegis, it's the Immortal only. Your curse is down, your wall's been used. At least Silent didn't blow his Omni Slash. Oh, Aloha. He doesn't have charge either. He's dead. Yep, he goes for the Nether Strike, but he's already going to tick out. 34 seconds on the sideline, you burn through. Your Aegis Steam Oil, yes. They could have this, You're up against Shadow Blade, uh, Shadow Blade and Glimmer Caping Heroes. Just buy a gem. Well, the chase is on. It's up after Silent. Runs himself away as far as he possibly can. There's your Yule Scepter. Well, I suppose you didn't. Oh, yeah, it's a Sonic Wave. They got it. He has no buyback, you know? Yeah, that's a one minute opportunity. That should be mid racks actually, because of it's this. Really far from. But here they come. So all you have to do is wait for it. Nuts is already there. S4 blinked himself out. The shards fly up. Can't lock in any heroes into an into a bad position. This is a difficult spot to defend for Empire. It kind of is, but at the same time, this is probably the best position they could find. Like it's it's the group up cluster. That's Aloha not. dance. That isn't really the dream, however. The bear gets the entangle. The shards get the kill. No spirit breaker for 37 seconds. He can buy back. Yeah, the sentry wards are down. Um, and inside the lane, the Sonic Wave will connect, and this DK trying to retreat back out again. Why, but no fear comes from behind, and he gets a three-man curse, but s Force not involved in it. The Snowball comes in too, there's no farm damage with a callout, resolution and no fear of death. There's a triple kill for Loader, the Omni Slash gets mopped up by the rest of the Alliance team. Silent is no way out, he's on the run, but that bear is steaming towards it, nuts on the front line too. We can just go for the Shards and try and hold Silent in, but he might be worried he can just... Okay, he just goes for the Snowball, that'll do the work instead. And Silent stands his ground, but yeah. It's not for a kill for Loda. Alliance, they won game one very, very comfortably. In game number two, patience has been their friend as they look to take out game number two at this rate. As soon as Silent TP'd onto that tier two, I... <laughs> where? Where are they taking this holiday? Man, things are heating up, man. They've gone directly over to Jamaica on this holiday. It's a wonderful country. Silent, you are dead. Spin. He's not even, like, there's no TP on him, so he's just well, trying to stand his ground with it. Silence. But that's one minute with Silent on the sideline. It's the way he re also reacts that. Don't <laughs> trust Durker at all. 
Okay. Okay. Here's another lane of racks, honestly, for free. No glyph, no, uh, no juggernaut. They have to wait for the juggernaut. Like, you're gonna lose range, you're gonna lose your melee. You need the Omni Slash Yoku's to fight. Really Yoku just says screw it. He's going after S4, but S4 has got 45 bonus armor because the Weave is there. The Sonic Wave hits Empire fully. A low R dance goes for his jump. He bounces S4 back, but the Shallow Grave will keep him alive. Yoku even goes with a Breeze Fire, but he can't reach S4. I think that's now what this game has turned into. Who can kill off S4? Resolution on the back line. I don't think you'll have any success either. Late this mail. is 33 for 9. Yeah. That's uh, wait, what? No, 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 no. because the game's no. over. Yeah, Kobe. yeah, <laughs> he can't yeah. Up. there we go. There we go. But that's it. I'm pretty sure the G's are coming. Resolution's still on the run here. Run away, resolution. Nuts can't snowball just yet. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, GG. This game is over. Empire have officially lost this, even if they're not calling it themselves. There you go. Resolution will finally do it. GG is the call. Alliance take the series 2 0, and with that. They haven't secured it, but it's pretty damn close. It's on the edge of the bag. On the precipice. Yes, they will be attending the LAN finals for the defense. Because with this, they now go 7-1. So, not even that. They go more than that. Yeah, no, no. They go 7-1. That takes them up into first position with the most amount of wind.